This number is 46782255. Got it. Here we go. Yes, uh, hello. I transferred a sizable amount of money from Switzerland, and I'd like to check on whether it's there. That would be in our foreign department, sir. I will connect you. Yeah, done, Marco. Look, I transferred upwards of seven million American dollars to your bank. I've been trying to check on whether it's there or not. Now, are you going to help me, or are you going to transfer me to some other department? Who am I talking to? I can, of course, help you, monsieur. I am Pierre Damacourt, an officer of the bank. If you will give me your name. Born, B-O-U-R-N-E, Jason Born. The money came from the Gemeinschaft Bank in Zurich. Now, did it get to you? All transactions are confidential, Monsieur Born. We couldn't give you that information over the phone. Look, I'm in a hurry. I'm leaving Paris and I... Would you come by the bank? Yes, yes, I guess I'll have to. Um, where's your office? I'll need to see all the papers and the confirmation. My office is at the rear, first door on the right. Hello? Hello? Damn phones. I am here, Monsieur Bond. Hello? I can't hear anything. His name is Dumbcourt. His office is main floor rear, through on the right. Jason, the man who tried to kill me, he's here. Can he see you where you are? No, I don't think so. Look, face the wall and don't move. Now hang up the phone. I'll get rid of him and I'll call you right back. Jason, I'm terrified. Now hang up and don't move. Banque Valois, bonjour. Pierre Domacourt's office, please. Grand étranger, bonjour. Mr. Darmacourt, please. Jason Bourne calling. One moment, please. Come on, come on! Mr. Bourne, I'm sorry you're having trouble with our phone. I'm afraid there's been a hitch in my plans, Darmacourt. I've got to fly to London right away. I'm off to the airport right now. Um, hang on to those papers for me. I'll take care of it as soon as I get back from London. Oh, there's a cab. Got to run. Thanks. Jason. Marie, don't move. If I'm right, that animal will be passing you to run any second. Maybe I should try to get out now. No, not yet. Don't move. I can't stop shaking. They're at the airport, I promise you. Do you suppose Darmacourt could have gone out a back way? There he is. You're gonna be all right. Go back to Pontiac. Wait. Mr. Darmacourt. I'm Jason Bourne. Your friends must be running all over the airport by now, wondering why you gave them bum information. I did as I was told. I followed the instructions in the account. Nothing more, I swear. 
That's all I want to ask you about, the instructions on the account. What they were, who they came from, nothing to be alarmed about. I could lose my position, monsieur. You could lose your life. I am not the man you want to talk to. Who is? We all know the Valois Bank, I suppose. He's the one who made the arrangements with the Gemeinschaft Bank in Zurich. The instructions came from Zurich? Yes. From that man in the bank, Koenig? Perhaps. What was the arrangement? Oh, I'm not as privileged as you think, monsieur. No, I was ignorant. Don't play with me, Mr. Damacourt. You don't have to threaten me, monsieur. You are a very rich man. Why not pay me? All right, let's see what it's worth. Your account has a fiche confidentielle. What's that? It means there are separate sealed instructions to be followed when funds are deposited or withdrawn. And the instructions? The telephone number to be called. And the number? Oh, I don't remember, monsieur. I only looked at it once. You remember. A number in New York? No, mademoiselle. A number here in Paris. The card was altered. The number in New York was deleted, the one in Paris inserted and initialed. When you called the Paris number, who did you talk to? With the fiche, you don't ask. That's true. A woman answered. She said you should be considered a dangerous man. I asked if I should inform Sur Terre Interpol. I was told you were beyond the police or Interpol. That you should be detained in my office, that there would be persons there within minutes who could identify you. This is very valuable, Monsieur Bob. A phone number might be. I want 50,000. It's outrageous. So is the assassination of Ambassador Leland. You know who I am. A dangerous man, monsieur. Nothing more. You know a lot more than that. Tell me or I'll kill you right now. Jason. Only one other thing I know, monsieur. Say it. 50,000. I'll pay you with your life. Say it. A telephone number. His address shop in Saint Andre. Address shop? He's called Bergeron. Jason, come on. Come on. Call Peter, see what he's found out while I change. Okay. Lisa, it's Marie Saint Jacques. May I speak to Peter? him earlier today. I know. Oh my God. What? What's happened? They killed him. What? He went to the airport to meet the man from Washington. When he didn't come back to the office, Lisa called the airport. They found his body in one of the tunnels the parking lot. Oh, Marie. Oh, you're precious threats to Hey. They're murderers. He asked about them to help hey, me. Come on. To help us. Stop it. Your people, Jason. I'm sorry, Your but... people are murderers. All of you are murderers. Calm down, Let Marie. me go. Let now me stop go. Stop it, Marie. No, I can't be a part of this. I don't want to be a part of this. Marie.
president wants to know what's going on. Peter White, a man at the Canadian Treasury Department, calls the NSC asking about this organization, Treadstone, and his shot. Did you people kill him because he blew your cover? Senator. Or was it Carlos again? I think it was Bourne. Bourne. You're convinced, General Conklin, that Bourne was also responsible for the assassination of Ambassador Leland. I am. Either by himself or working for Carlos. Poppycock. Mr. Abbott. Well, apparently, Senator, we don't have a consensus yet. You're not convinced? I'm not convinced, for one. The facts are as follows. Bourne was in Marseille shortly before the assassination. That doesn't mean that he did it. He might have gotten wind there's to be an attempt on the ambassador's life. He might have been trying to prevent it. And after Marseille, he vanished and reappeared again in Zurich, where he withdrew several million from the Treadstone account. Then he murdered Chernak, who's worked for us forever, kidnapped the Canadian woman, and disappeared again. And those are also the facts, Senator. Ambassador Leyland and Chernak were both shot in the throat. Is there any significance in that? It's Carlos's signature. Jason Bourne was trying to think, to act, and to kill like Carlos. He did not kill Alex. He saved lives while he was undercover. That's true. Taking credit for kills, not killing. Or so he would have us believe. Bourne's mission, Senator, was to get Carlos. Interpol had tried and failed for 20 years. The Israelis tried. Carlos controls an elaborate network of terrorists from who knows from where. We decided we were going to challenge him at his own game. To field our own assassin. Are you serious? The theory was that our man would take credit for kills that were in fact Carlos's kills and, and invent others. This would enrage Carlos. He'd, he'd make a mistake. He'd, he'd reveal himself. He's a man of enormous ego. That was the theory. In practice, what happened, in my opinion, is that Jason Bourne turned into exactly what we trained him to be, a master assassin. Is that possible, in your opinion, David? The evidence against Bourne, it, it, it's circumstantial at best. I think he should be eliminated. Alex, please. Well, what we have here is you, David, and Elliot believing in this man's innocence, General Conklin, and Mr. Gillette believing in his guilt. How do we resolve that? What I suggest is that we send him a signal to come in. Now, we'll plant a story about the Canadian woman in the papers. If he does come in, we'll question him. If he doesn't, then we'll know he's turned. Gentlemen. Meg. Where do you go now? That place Domico told us about at the bank, Bergeron's dress shop. Jason, they'll kill you if you go there. Marie? You'll be late for your flight home. I am sorry about Peter.
Bienvenue chez Bergeron, monsieur. Que peut-on faire pour vous être agréable? Could you translate that for me, please? <laughs> Excuse me. Do you want to see something? Yes, I'm looking for some gifts for a friend. Oh, the launch for viewing and selecting is one flight up, sir. Let me show you the way. If we can be of any assistance, <laughs> please call, sir. Thank you. I am Jacqueline Lavier, the directrice. If I can be of any assistance. Oh, well, thank you. May I hang those for you? Oh, sure, thanks. You have an eye for our better dresses. I have a young lady with an eye for your better dresses. Ah, may I pick some ball gowns, perhaps, as well? If you've got a place where I can sit down and have a drink, you can pick me a whole closet full, Madam Jackie. The trip from the Bahamas was a killer. My office? It's not the Joe sack, but the sofa is soft. And there's plenty of whiskey. Where have you been all my life? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Would the young lady be available for fittings? She's already on the Riviera. Cap for off. But a size six fits her well enough. A size six fits her well enough? For shame, monsieur. Uh, this is what I like about shopping in Paris. My pleasure. Monsieur... Briggs. Charlie Briggs. And how much of your money would you like to part with, Monsieur Briggs? Oh, not more than ten or twelve thousand, Madame Jackie. A bientôt, Monsieur. And make yourself at home. Come in. Marie! Incredible. Thank God you got away. You all right? Yeah. Did you hear about Peter? What happened? Do you have any idea? Yeah, we heard this morning. Terrible tragedy, but... But you're safe. Thank God for that. We've all been so worried. Alice? Oui? Tell the ambassador that Marie St. Doc is in my office. We've got him. What do you mean, we've got him? You've got who? Born, of course. You are going to cooperate, aren't you? Cooperate? What do you mean? Help us find him. Marie, the police all over Europe have been looking for Jason Bourne since he took you hostage in Zurich. He's an international assassin, one of the most dangerous men alive. You know where he was last, where he's planning to go. Mr. McLean, the ambassador would like to see you in his office. Yeah, I'll be right there. I'll be right back. Carl, what happens when you find him, Carl? Marie, he's a killer. Sooner or later, we're gonna catch him. Or kill him. Wait here. Yes, I'm sure. 
thought you were dead. I served with the bastard in Laos in the Medusa operation. It's the coldest man I ever saw. It's the most dangerous. It's the most unpredictable. Mademoiselle Angelique, it is born, I guarantee it. You don't make a mistake with a man like that. We were all trained to kill, but he was the best. He killed because he enjoyed it. That was a lovely meal, Monsieur Briggs. Merci. Call me Charlie. Charlie. Now, I understand through my associates that you know the work of a man I might want to employ. Jason Bourne. Madam Jackie, there's nothing to be alarmed about. All I want is information. I have no information. I don't know who you are talking about. Don't you? Then why is your phone number on the fiche confidentielle of his bank account? That's a lie. You know nothing. I know enough to expose Koning in Zurich, Damercourt at the Valois Bank, and you, of course. If I did expose you, do you know how quickly you'd be eliminated? You are insane. You expose any of us anywhere, and you won't last the day. He has men everywhere. They will cut you down in the street. Tell me about Bourne. You heard that he was the equal of Carlos, am I right? His equal? I heard they were the same man. So now Bourne is claiming even to be Carlos? Monsieur. So Bourne isn't Carlos? Bourne is a poseur. He works alone. Carlos' strength lies in his far-reaching sources of information. Sounds like too many people to me. All blind, monsieur. Blind? To put it plainly, I have been part of this operation for over 15 years. I have yet to meet a single person who has even spoken to Carlos, or a single person who knows where he is. And Bourne? What do you know about Bourne? An American. When did he come to Europe, to Carlos's attention? Three years ago. First, a lot of activity in Asia. An ambassador was assassinated in Mulman. Two days later, a Japanese politician was killed in Tokyo. A week after that, a newspaper editor was blown out of his car in Hong Kong. Behind each of these, born. But Carlos realized what none of us understood. That born was moving to Europe, to Paris, in fact. That he was out to destroy Carlos. Calcutta, Oman, Sheikh Mustafa Khalid. A lie. A deliberate lie. Bourne failed more than once. He accepted too many contracts in too short a time. Yet, whenever he did, he would follow an aborted kill with a spectacular, unsolicited one. <laughs> he would select a prominent figure and... Pff. And Bourne. Why does Bourne want to destroy Carlos? Because he intends to become Carlos. I thought you'd be in Canada by now. What happened? They're after you, too. The Canadians? Everybody. And their instructions are if they can't catch you, to kill you. Carlos has engineered this somehow. They're convinced you're an assassin, Jason. They wanted to know where I saw you last, what your plans were. What did you tell them? Nothing. Nothing. I ran away. I, I realized. 
recognize that. That I love you. Merci, monsieur. Jason, can we slow down? Where are we going? I don't know. Sure as hell can't stay here. Jason. Here, sir. Oh, I'm too old for this. Me too. <laughs> Wait behind the building, Kenny. I won't be long. I'll fill it with gas. David Abbott, I presume. Mm hmm. Legend of the OSS days. Creator of Treadstone 71. Who's the woman? Meg. Yes, Meg owns the house. She and her husband were with the OSS in Yugoslavia. He, he sails. Oh, the yachtsman, of course. So, how do we get in? <laughs> uh, Herr Koenig, I wonder if we could discuss business for a moment. 500,000 doesn't really seem adequate. After all, Carlos can sell those files alone for several millions. We don't renegotiate, Mr. Gillette. If you're going to fit in, I wouldn't try. Newspaper article was a clear signal to come in, and he hasn't. You've got to eliminate him, David, quickly as possible. It's only been 24 hours. Can't we give him another day? Every day puts the rest of the intelligence community in jeopardy. We have no choice, David. We have to get rid of him. I have to go. Just give me another 24 hours. <laughs> All right. All right. Anybody want to ride to the airport? I'll see you out. No, don't bother. I'll go out the back. The car's waiting in the alley. Look, I'll take that ride. Well, let's go. The car's out the back. David Abbott. He wasn't here. There's a door to the alley. Idiot. Where are the files? That's the file I'm born.
Flint, his fingerprints. I know what to do. So that's it. That's the whole story straight from Madam Jackie. Everything was familiar. Names, cities, assassinations. It all fits. There wasn't anything she said that I didn't know. There wasn't somewhere in the back of my head trying to get out. It was the truth. Was. We were wrong, don't you see? Jason, you offered your life for mine before you knew me. That's not what an assassin would do. If that man existed, he doesn't any longer. Maybe that is what you're faced with. Can you walk away from it? Maybe. But alone. Not with you. That's your decision, then? It has to be. So you will disappear heroically so I can return to my life and work reputation intact, is that it? That's it. Thank you very much, but who the hell do you think you are? What? Who the hell do you think you are? A man who kills people for money. Governments from Asia to Europe want me dead. The Canadians want me dead. Carlos wants me shot in the throat. Think about it for a minute. How long do you think we can keep running before someone in one of those armies finds me and kills us? Is that the way you want your life to end? Oh, no. Heavens, no. I, I want to rot in a Swiss prison for 40 years for things I never did in Zurich. There's a way to take care of Zurich. I've thought about it. I can do it. Oh, how? What does it matter? I, a confession, turning myself in, I don't quite know yet. But I can do it. I can put your life back together again. I have to. Jason, don't you see? You've just proved my point once again. Even now, when you are so sure of your own guilt, don't you see the lethal assassin you were telling me about would never do what you just offered to do? For anyone. Marie, I'm a hired killer. Maybe you were. You aren't now. Listen to me. You're very dear to me, but I'm not a child. I don't know what you were before or what crimes you're guilty of. But you're not what you believe you are. I know myself. I couldn't love the man you believe you are. I love the man I know you are. You're a damn fool. I can help you. You can't help me. Leave me something, for God's sake. Wait. What? The illusion of an assassin. The man you believe you are? The crimes you believe you committed? I remember them. No, no, wait a minute, Jason. Wait a minute. What if they were planted in your mind as expertly as the evidence against me was planted in the paper? You don't know what happened before you lost your memory. What would explain the images of violence in my head? Memories of violence. Maybe you remember what you've been told over and over and over. Recordings, photographs. I'm too good at killing. Damn you! I'm fighting for my life here, for both of our lives. You can think, you can feel. Well, think now, feel now. Look at me, Jason, and 
look at me and tell me you've looked inside yourself, inside your thoughts and feelings, and you know without a doubt that you're an assassin. But if you can't, then stay with me and let me help you. And love me. For God's sakes, love me, Jason. I called a bureau print team we've used before and can trust they didn't tell them what we're looking for, just to sweep Treadstone and give me whatever they got. I gave them the names of 37 men whose prints are on file with the FBI. The place had been wiped clean, apart from a broken glass on which we found prints. Well, don't play with me, Mr. Gillette. Whose prints were they? They were Bourne's. No, we can't be absolutely certain. We gave him the signal to come in, David. His response was to wipe out Treadstone. Now, what more do you want? So, do we eliminate him? make any sense at all. I called the number I found at Bergeron's. It's the home of one of the most powerful, respected men in France. Who? General Francois de Villiers. Oh my God, it can't be. That picture in the Sorbonne, you were at his son's funeral. Jason, he was a hero in World War II, a legend in the Resistance. Now he's a ranking member of the government. Well, how can you connect such a man with Carlos? Villiers broke with de Gaulle, didn't he? Why? Over military cutbacks. He's an entrenched militarist. That's it. There's the connection. Carlos eliminated Leland because Leland was working for a nuclear-free Mediterranean. That's all we need. It seems incredible, a man like that. I've got the address. Let's go. He was a customer, Angelique. Nothing but a customer, I'm sure of it. Clothes for his girlfriend, on Riviera. Information on Bourne, who he was told could get rid of a competitor, nothing else. It was Bourne himself. Bourne asking about his own kills, his own reputation. His own relationship with Carlos, it makes no sense. What did you tell him? Nothing. I told him nothing. How long was he alone in your office? He wasn't. He was not. I swear it. Anjou says it He's lying. Him. Is my phone number in your office? No, no. My God, am I stupid? We're late. We have an appointment. Where are we going? It's time you met Carlos. That's Madame Jackie, the woman from Bergeron's. One in red was at General Villiers' son's funeral. In the photo in the Sorbonne. <sighs> well, that proves it. Didier is involved.
Are you all right? Yeah. Now do exactly as I tell you. Slide over in the driver's seat and start the car. Drive ahead. Jason! Once I'm inside, drive off. Father, do you speak English? A little. A few moments ago, two women came in. The young one in a red dress, the older one with a, a very short dark hair. Did you see them? Oh, yes. The younger woman brought the other to confession. Did you hear the confession? No, no. One of the visiting fathers from oh, Spain. I must find her. There, there's been an emergency. Uh, she was in the second confessional. I don't know whether she's still there. I think I saw Father Emmanuel leave.
We have to talk, General. Get in the car. Quick, what is this? What case? What we have it? to talk. I'm prepared to shoot. Go on then, shoot! I have no problem killing you, General, since you've become the messenger for Carlos. I'll kill you! Can't kill me! You deny being Carlos's man? Yeah, Carlos, I spit on him. He killed my son, my only son. Five sticks of dynamite. General, God. your telephone number is at Bergeron's, Carlos's Paris headquarters. Never. Impossible. You don't know what you're saying. I know exactly what I'm saying because I found it there myself, and it is your number. Who are you? Names are unimportant. Unimportant? A man without a name traps me at night, holds me under a gun, and expects me to take him at his word? Why the hell should I? Because I'm telling you the truth! If you hate Carlos as much as you say you do, then help me stop him! General! General, wait! I followed Carlos from Zurich, from a bank in Zurich to a bank in Paris, which had on a secret account Bergeron's number. At Bergeron's, I found your number, carefully hidden but available. No, no, there, there must be some explanation. There is no other explanation. General, at your home, who normally answers the phone? You yourself? Yes. You're the housekeeper. She's been with me since the war. Or my wife, or my aide. Your aide? How long has he been with you? Since before you were born. He is completely loyal. Caesar said the same of Brutus. There is no one in my immediate household. No one, believe me. I'm afraid you're wrong. Why should I believe you? General, I'll prove everything I've said. But I need access to your home. I need to talk to your staff. General, please. All right, then. Come to my home. Talk to my wife. She will arrange it. And you'll find you are wrong. Park the car. We'll go with him. Don't pull in. But stop here. The man coming out of your house, do you know who he is? Yes, I've met him with my wife. His name is Don Joux. He's connected to Carlos. <laughs> Why do you say that? Because I saw him in the dress shop Carlos uses for a front here in Paris. That woman he's talking to is one of Carlos's people. Is she part of your household, General? Yes. She's my wife. <laughs> finds a stunning young woman who is anxious to share his life with him. Ah, there are some things which are understood. She gets money, security, a position in society. And he, uh, he gets her youth, her beauty, and I suppose a, a chance to display his virility. General, don't Straight do this. All the time there are questions. Does she long for a younger man? And if she takes a lover, oh, damn it, if she, when she takes a lover, Will she be discreet? But one question never, never occurred to me until now. Has she, from the very beginning, from the start, has she been part of a design? Has she been part of my son's death? Do you think she has? I have access to certain classified uh, material. You understand? Uh, military, nuclear, the security of France. Only five of the men are on the list. Five, no more. But all the time, there is a leak. I don't know, somewhere, somehow. Uh, Moscow learns one thing, Washington another, Damascus something else. You discuss these things with your wife? No, of course I do not. But I bring the papers home with me and I put them in a safe in my office. And only one other person has got the key of the safe. 
for her jewels. <laughs> she went into mourning for my son's death. Black, very smart, very chic. But if what you say is right, then she was part of my son's murder. She's a traitor to France. I know what I must do. No, General. No, listen to me. Think of your son, not your pride. Go after the real killer, not the accomplice. In the end, you'll get both of them, but don't confront her now. Use her to get Carlos. Use her to draw him out. We need a way to make him show himself. Nobody's ever been this close before. Who are you? Have you heard of a group in the CIA called Treadstone? I can tell you nothing about Treadstone. Nothing about Emma. All we're looking for is someone in Treadstone we can trust. Someone beyond suspicion. Just a name, General. One name. Abbott. David Abbott. He is a man you can trust. Bonjour. This is Jason Bourne. Jackie's dead. You're next. Do me no favors, Bourne. Call the Church of the Blessed Sacrament for verification. Then meet me at... And get a wire around my neck. All I want is information. I'll pay you enough so you can leave the country and live a long, safe life. The Trocadero, at noon, at the taxi stand. If you want to live, be there. Save my life. Why? 
Because I might kill you myself. What do you want? How does Villiers' wife fit into the organization? Don't you? She's Carlos' lover since she was 13. Villiers' wife? Gives Carlos access not only to virtually all government secrets, but also to all the file on himself. Is Villiers involved? What does Carlos know about me? I'm not in the first circle. What have you heard? Only what everyone else has heard. Rumors out of Saigon were that the man known as Jason Bourne, the most lethal man in Southeast Asia, had signed on with the CIA for the highest price ever paid an offer to you. For what purpose? What does Carlos think I'm doing? Driving him crazy, claiming his kills for yours, challenging him at every turn. And you? What are you thinking? What does it matter? You recognize me. You know me. You are not the Jason Bourne, are you? And who am I? I have no idea. Your face has been altered to look like Bourne, but you are not him. You are not a cold-blooded killer. Beyond that, I have no idea. If I run, will you shoot me? I won't. What did Dan you say? Was I right? You were right. Oh. Oh. There's still a lot I don't know. Things I may never know. But I'm not born. I'm not an assassin. Oh, jeez. Oh, now we can contact the embassy. They'll help us. Yeah. But what do I say? Hi there, I'm Jason Bourne. I know that's not my real name, but I don't happen to recall what my real name is. You see, I lost my memory somewhere outside of Marseille. What do I tell them? Tell them the truth. What truth? Tell them to contact the doctor who fished you out of the sea. Washburn? He must have records. He doesn't keep records. He's an alcoholic. Nobody will believe him. Jason, why are you fighting this? It's what you've been looking for since you woke up that morning on the beach. Marie, how do I know the Americans aren't trying to kill me, too? I have to be careful, that's all. B.A. said you could trust Abbott. David Abbott and Treadstone. It's Bourne. What? Just phoned the Paris Embassy. He wants to come in. Thank God. Are we sure it's him? Well, he's not using the right words. But the agency still thinks it's for real. Can we make the concord? The car's downstairs. We stalled him, right? Told him not to come in until we get there. He's going to phone on the hour at different locations. Are they logged? No, no. But there are half a dozen double agents in Paris with trip telephones. If he's gone over to the other side, the chances are he'll use one of those phones before we get there. And we'll know he's lying. Now, let's get one thing clear. I want his story before we do anything. God, he's just destroyed Treadstone, David. Now, how can I want this completely private. I want no possibility of ambush. Look, the man is dangerous, and I'm obligated to protect you. know this man, Alex. There's no threat, not to me. I guarantee it. Well, I am not convinced. Now, we are going to do this my way. Well, here we go. Abbott's arrived? I'm meeting him at a cemetery outside of Paris. Oh, no. It's supposed to reassure me, I think. I've been there before. General Villiers' son's funeral was there. Oh, the one in the newspaper. Yeah, by naming it the rendezvous, Abbott's telling me he's genuine. I'm staying with you. Hmm? I won't have it any other way, Jason. I'm serious. You can't. If anything happens to me, I want you to go to Villiers. He can raise a hell of a stink. No, no, if I'm not back no. by daybreak... Oh, come on. Stop, stop, stop. Thank you. 
are you? Who am I? You know who I am. Down, I said, who are you? Brigadier General Alex Conklin. I said I'd see Abbott. Nobody but Abbott. Where's David Abbott? What do you want to do, kill him? The way you killed everybody else at Treadstone? What are you talking about? Your fingerprints were found. You killed all of them. Mag the Yachtsman, Elliot Stevens. They were good people. People who die rather than turn, rather than sell out the way you did to Carlos. Damn it, I haven't turned. Carlos is trying to kill me. You bastard. Kill it! Kill him! David! 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 No! You, Abbott. You don't know me? No, I don't know you. Carlos tried to have me killed in Marseille. The bullet blew out my memory. Oh. oh, my God. You remember nothing? Almost nothing. Bits and pieces. That explains everything. You believe me? Yes. Yes. I killed the man who shot me. That was Gillette. He was the traitor. The same man tried to shoot me at the Trocadero. He convinced General Conklin that you turned, and he almost convinced me. Can you tell me who I am? You're David Webb. You're named for me. I'm David Abbott. Your father and I, we grew up together. Went to Yale, the OSS, the Foreign Service. He died when you were seven. I had no children, and so... We did everything together when you were growing up. I, I took you skiing. We played tennis. We talked history. We fished. Above all, we fished. What about the CIA? Treadstone? Oh, David. You followed me into this lousy business. And when no one could touch Carlos, when his people had killed half a dozen of the most prominent Western leaders, and he himself, he'd... he'd apparently disappeared off the face of the earth. Then you and I, we devised a deep cover trap for him, designed to flush him out, the born identity. <coughs> See if you can walk a little farther. A real Jason Bourne, who was he? Oh, a terrible man. Killed for the sport of it. Didn't matter if it was a rat or a man, he just loved to watch things die. What happened to him? We couldn't control him. So once the plastic surgery on you was complete, you'd been trained, we eliminated him. You killed your own man? To get Carlos, we needed someone with Bourne's reputation, but someone we could trust, someone decent. Decent? The object was to kill Carlos, David, not to win a ticket to heaven. Or set me down, David. I'm not gonna let you die. No, it's too late. It's not too late. You're gonna be all right. No, please. No, you're just here. Catch the train. Oh. You could cast a line into a pool of water under the trees. Sidearm. Maybe just, just a foot of clearance between the branches and the water. 11 years old, newspaper people came out to take your picture. They couldn't believe it either. <laughs> you had a dog, a black lab named Elvis. It's true, I'd forgotten that. <laughs> Everything got your out. It's in the house on 71st Street. Treadstone, third floor, your room. All the answers are there. Everything. 
The hospital. You've got to make it. No, no. Please. I want to die holding on to the grass. Get Carlos. Anyway. I will. I will. Forgive me. Miss David Webb. <laughs> it was a trap. They were convinced that I'd sold out to Carlos. Why would Treadstone try to kill you? They think I flew into New York last week, last Friday, and killed everybody at their headquarters. But you can prove you were here. They won't listen. Even David Abbott, wasn't he there? They killed him. Oh, God. Only Carlos could have engineered this. He's got us completely isolated. Nobody will believe us. Nobody. Our only chance is to get Carlos and bring him in. How? I've got to get to General Villiers. His wife is our last chance, our last connection to Carlos. What have you done? She admitted it, my wife. What you suggested, she was his whore. I had no choice. She destroyed my son, my name, my honor. My life has been service to France. She made of it a mockery. And now you're gonna kill yourself? When I am dead, there will be no one to question, no proof. Only the whisper of killers and thieves. So in the end, Carlos kills you too. Without so much as wasting a round of ammunition. Beautiful. Whatever it is you want me to do, the answer is no. I cannot do it. So Carlos wins. Angelique wins. You lose. Your name, your reputation, your life, your son, everything. It's easier to put a damn gun in your mouth and blow the top of your head off. Yes, yes, it is. Oh. I won't ask you to fight, not fight. The odds being what they are, just the two of us against everybody. No, I can't. I know, I know. So lie down on the bed next to your whore, General, and die. You're no match for Carlos, you self-pitying old man. Oh. I've killed many men in my life, many men. Good idea. Kill me, too, then Carlos sweeps the board. Go on, fire. Kill me. Take your orders from Carlos, soldier. Kill me, soldier! What do you want me to do? Get diplomatic clearance for Marie and me this morning to New York. Hmm? We'll force Carlos to come after me. It's the only way any of us are going to survive. Carlos himself? How? Put her in a car and wait. They'll find her. 
And when they do, they'll take her to Carlos. And Carlos will come to Treadstone to kill you. Santa Cravic. And comes right next to Miss St. Jack, we've learned that Bourne arrived in New York a few hours ago. Obviously, you know he's involved in several murders. Now, where is he? He's been trying to bring in your precious Carlos for you if you people don't kill him first. Now, for God's sakes, do something right and help him. Help him? Will you listen to me? He's not an assassin. He's not. All right, let's find some place to talk. My name's Johnson. I have a little problem. Perhaps you can help me solve it. Yeah, I'll try. What is it? I was on my way to a friend's house on 71st Street, uh, a friend who passed away recently, I'm sorry to say, to pick up something I'd lent him. When I got there, one of your vans was parked in front of the house. Now, I could easily get a letter from my attorney, but it was an item of little or no value. Now, what is it? A fishing rod. Not an expensive one, but with an old, old-fashioned casting reel that doesn't get tangled up every five minutes. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I fish out of sheep set. They don't make those reels like they used to. I know exactly in which closet he kept it. Yeah, what the hell, the fishing rod, huh? Go up and see a guy named Dugan. Tell him I said you can have it, but you'll have to sign for it. Mr. Dugan. Thank you, Mr. Schumack. Yeah, if he gives you any static, tell him to call me. Good fishing. Yes, indeed. Why not let Bourne come to me? Why not let me stand on the corner reading the Wall Street Journal or something? Oh, no, if you're outside and Bourne is outside, it gives Carlos two targets. I can't permit it. Hey, where's Dugan at? What do you think? Upstairs sitting in his chair. He don't lift nothing heavier than his clipboard, man. <laughs> He's an executive. Schumack sent me, said you needed another man. Second floor. You from Shape Up? Yeah. This isn't gonna work. I see parts of him in everybody. <sighs> Why 
What do you see? I don't know. I can't be sure. Let me out of this car! I can't! Let I can't! Go. Let me go! Get him out! Read, Davy, read. Everything you can get your hands on, but especially history. Hey, stupid. What are you doing in here? You Dugan? Who are you? I'm from Shape Up. I said you could use another man. You want me to start in here? Well, I can't. The stairs are too narrow already. The men I got are crawling over each other's butts. Go on back. Get out of here. Hey, uh, Schumack sent me over here, huh? Schumack. All right, start at the top. Start with the single wood units, as heavy as you can carry. And don't give me no coffee break garbage. Yeah, yeah. Third floor.
they're dead. They're all dead. Jason! Get away! They're dead. They're dead. <laughs> David Abbott gave his life for his country, for freedom, for democracy. A sacrifice unfashionable with this generation that believes only in profit. But fitting I think, with David Abbott, who believed in courage and freedom of ideas, in human dignity, in fighting for what is true and good and right and just. It is not fitting. We killed too many people, David. You taught me to be a monster, to catch a monster. Along the way, part of me became the monster. You taught me to kill like you taught me to play tennis, with skill and detachment, without mercy, without thought. Tonight, we fly back to Vermont. They say I was a teacher. Maybe I'll teach again and fish. Maybe I can put the pieces back together. Some of them, at least. I can think about how I became what I became, and how to forgive you, and how to forgive myself, and how, maybe, to love again. <laughs> 